Welcome to this final lesson of Cosmic Significance 2012. Remember, students, Dante has been drowning in the river rings of Saturn for quite some time. See his head poke right through Saturn's icy earring as Dante flails about. Saturn's moon Titan is home to the floating pyramid palace. Oh, Veronica! Goodbye! You know who I love! It's you! You've covered me with plastic flesh again! You're a... a spacesuit? A girl like me wouldn't go around without a backup, Dante! Oh, Veronica! Wait a minute! All this time I've worn the ear cuff you were watching? That's right! Everything? Uh, with the Nuria? You were... Why didn't you tell me? You blathered on about every planetoid and ice cream stand we passed. A complete molecular reboot requires time, dear. How could you? Oh, I am so embarrassed. And were you not embarrassed with Nampea? I was with you for the whole pregnancy. Oh, don't talk to me. Sweetie, we have seen each other's factory specs. <laughs> Coming out of the shadows, it's a giant cow with a moon-sized crystal ball in her horns? Huh? What is that? Let's find out. I will ping Roger 10-4. <coughs> Veronica? Wait, yeah. Oh, here you go. Accessing holographic overlays and strategies. See? Now you can identify everything. Oh, it's Enceladus. The Eye of Hathor is a death ray. Look! The crew's equestrians for our horseships of the apocalypse are guarding the cow. There's death, just a skeleton. Famine has the giant silver teeth. The black one is war. Red eye lasers, breeze fire, art cannon, pestilence has acid vomit, Wah. and what is the other green one? A fifth horse of the apocalypse? It is taxes. Roger's data says Smythe is here, too. He's in the control room in the eye. The Hopi space fleet has arrived with the Knights of Jaw. Hooray! Hey, Mon! Bahana, I knew you would be here. I'm here, Bowie. How is my daughter? Your little sunshine is safe with Ocean. Good. We have the plans from Roger. I'm ready. Excellent. All Spirit Fleet ships, stand by. Welcome back to the End of Time, December 21st, 2012. We're live at the Pyramid Palace floating over Titan's cryo-volcano. That's right, Sam. Astrati Nobility are presenting gifts to Pharaoh Amenaten and his virgin rock star princess bride, Stormy Knight. The final guest is Overseer of the Astral Lanes intersecting 511 Davida and Keeper of the Book of Hoo-Ha, his great impotence potentate who. Ah, great fellow Amanatan, I, who, present here with this flying cop, it's Roger, uh, I mean, Mustafa. At your service, righteous majesty. Useful, we accept. Ah. On the carpet, mermaid girl of Venus with lovely green skin and nictitatious curvature. I shall dance on land or sea, if it so please your majesty. Excellent. Ah. Go dance on stage with the band. And Dr. Donald Vonneken, recently captured from Atlantis for your court historian. Ah, I have no use for history. What I do need is a bass guitar. Called in sick idiot. Who plays bass? I do. Ah, oh, I do, I do. No, 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 no. On stage, no backing vocals. Ah. Astrati Royals and alien VIPs have arrived, Sam. Thousands of fans are still streaming in for tonight's event. We'll be back with more right after these words from Trace Reptoid's Transdimensional Vacations. We are the Sonic Circus, reminding you... You are what you think. Are you ready? 
you tired of slithering in the dark city swamps of Homeworld? Does the rep race get you down? <laughs> this is Maldek with Triss Reptoids. Possess a human for your next vacation and satisfy every reptilian appetite. Pain! We got that. <laughs> Despair? Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Uh, see the showers of oceans or um, the fields of potted pool. <laughs> the famines of Ethiopia or, oh, wait, the fall of Rome. Um, oh, warm yourself with the fire body of Dresden or London in 1666. <laughs> if adoration of the masses is your thing, try a weekend with Queen Samaramas. Cleopatra or Sheba. This is so jet asking. Don't you deserve to be worshipped as a deity? This is Pindar! I demand you enjoy a special discount on reality as we know it before it is destroyed forever! <laughs> Hello? One ringy dingy. It's all in your head, Ozona. Oh, Gloria, stop purging into my mind. You never did respect my privacy, even in boarding school. A sock on the doorknob so you and Zet could canoodle? It was my room, too. Those were the days. Why don't you write for Hollywood again? Gorse Spookers can't pen a decent script without you guiding the quill. Oh, come. There's still time to get here for the wedding. Beam over and join us. You don't have to die with the others. How disgusting you are, Ozona. You can't just hide away on Mars while the Earth burns. Titan, darling. What happens to one happens to us all. If humanity is crushed, you could never bear to come back to Earth. You could never truly enjoy the beach house. Oh, I'll have the house. There just won't be as many pesky dirtlings around. And global temperatures high enough for reptoids to live without possessing human hosts? Perhaps. Think back to your training. The moon Enceladus, it is in the seventh house. And Jupiter is aligned with Mars. Nonsense. Hollywood superstition. You know better. You helped me with the research for that one. You channeled Madame Blavatsky, for Thomas' sake. Your fifth grade science project. We have broken that dawn, too. There's not a hair's breadth of hope for your precious age of Aquarius. Look around. Kids are tuning into each other all over. Your new word odor is beginning to stink for what it is, Ozona. Call off the wedding for your own sake. Whatever are you talking about, Gloria? Shh! Oh, Zona, I won't be able to save you from what is coming. Oh, be gone, vile stench. You have no power here. All right. But you know I'll have the last laugh. Class, let's join Marvy and Lisa on the party line. Oh, don't look. They are still canoodling. Mm-hmm. <laughs> there. Perfect. Now, see to the matas and tiki torches, will ya? I'm gonna go start linking everyone in. Dad? Mom? Mommy! Marvelous, nice job with the hors d'oeuvres. Oh, Mama. Now, can you go tend to the barbecue? Tanake? Bonakin? I'm here, in the party line and playing guitar on the stage. Tanake, can you really play guitar? What's Tanake? Who? And I am going to try. No, no, no. Father Kinnikin, we're ready. Hello. I have invited all scurriers. Hello, nom nom, everyone. There's Punch over there. That's a lot of bathrobes. Toga, toga. <laughs> but we're all nude here. Those will have to go. Oh, my. I'm here, too. In the audience and also in your mind. I wonder where else I might be right now. Vonnegut, leave it. I have some room. <laughs> now, stay with the party, everybody. The show starts in five minutes. Oh, turn up the radio, Ma. Sonic Circus. <laughs> oh, look, everyone. Stormy Knight struts up those pyramid steps. 
She sure pulls off naked combat boots and that acid green spiked hair. Fantastic! Sal, viewers can see the green shimmer of Ujet clearly in possession of Stormy now. Can Ujet keep Stormy and Marvy under control? I wonder, who will be singing? No, Sam, who's on bass? Who? Mm-hmm. What? No, what is on drums? Um, yes. Now, folks, let's watch the capstone rise, floating above the crowd with the pick tunes inside. This is it. Stormy is about to sing. Are you ready for static? Now, class, look closely with your minds. Every human in the system soil has given themselves over to this moment. See the energy leave their bodies and travel instantly to Titan and right into Marvy upon that cross. See her unconscious body shakes as she feeds the energy back into the moon. Enceladus is glowing. And look over there. Smythe is reporting to Ozona. Ozona, my corrupt crumpet, the Eye of Hathor is now the ultimate power in the universe. The Hopi have arrived, but they will be no match for this fully armed and operational Death Moon! <laughs> oh, Sack, you slithery diaper. Stand by for full power. Our darling daughter has taken the stage. <laughs> Ochin, do you read? We orbit Enceladus. Are you ready to attack, Barry? Yes. I'm about to give the order. Just let we me... We Hopi are keepers of the ancient calendar. I was personally altered by the Uberlords to live millennia. I saw the cycle begin and will see it completed. Ten thousand years of creation hang in the balance. Yes. So, let us... The moon Enceladus is in the seventh house of Ix. Okay. Ocean, I'll let you go so we can just... Humanity will ascend to godhood. Apotheosis. Or Armageddon, Bowie. It's up to you. Armageddon. If we fail, will the world truly end? No. The sun will come up as it always has, but the reptoids will remain. Give the order, Bowie. Finally. Aye, Ocean. All ships, come in. Knights of Jaw and Eagle Fleet, target death and taxes. Panthers, target famine and pestilence. I'll take on war. Dante will sneak into the control room of the Eye while we keep them busy. Attack! The first wave of eagles were consumed by famine, but the rest of the eagles are swooping in. They have famine by the hooves, and he's drawn and quartered. I and I and I targeting the bones them with the reggae beat. I and I and I go and bust him. Yaman, yeah, mash up on the count of thirty-three. No man, three on three. Three, the Knights of Jot have smashed death to bits, but Taxes is getting away. Panthers, attack Pestilence! Oh no! Pestilence just vomited acid all over the Pink Panthers. But the Paisley Panthers are pouncing now. That just leaves the old war horse. Everyone, regroup, cover me. War spark cannons are on the stern and those laser eyes will cut through you like butter. Attack! With the crew's equestrians distracted, Dante was able to fly up to the bovine control room and milk bar where Smythe was talking to himself. Ashes to ashes to flames to dust. <laughs> if only Dante were here to see my victory. Oh, but yes I am. You're back, my boy. Well, no matter. I have my blaster. Dr. Smythe, you've been like a father to me. You have to let the reptoids go. No, I think not. I've grown to enjoy Maldek's company. It's like he's a part of me. Uh, what's that, Maldek? Shoot him. Uh, oh, yes. Uh, sorry, son. We have a great show for you tonight. But I know why you're really here. You want to see me get hitched to that pharaoh. And I assure you, I am a virgin. And now, my adoring fans, 
Now you have your own role to play in this unification. Are you ready for static? A one, two. That class is a death ray at full strength. Like a red laser fanning across the solar system at Earth's Venus, Callisto, and, and, well, everybody. The irony class here is that humanity does this to itself. And look, Stormy put down her microphone and steps toward the sunstone. Lisa and who help her with the straps. I'm ready. It is my destiny. Tanaka, in there. Get her leg through that side. Okay. Stormy is secure in the sunstone sling. Num, num, num. In a lust frenzy, humanity is hypnotized as cameras zoom in and snaring every last eyeball in system soil. Sam Sonic here, and if you're just tuning in, Stormy Knight has finished singing. Moments from now, she will be lowered in the sunstone sling and united with Pharaoh Amunatum. And with that final unification, the emotional feedback loop will completely fry humanity. <laughs> I think Marvie's already fried. Look at her shaking. All that sickly green energy has her hair on him. Uh, uh, y'all, I can't take much more of this. Uh. Oh, no, class. Marvie has collapsed. Marvie, our sweet daughter has succumbed. Gloria, we're going to need everyone's help right now. Yes, she needs everyone's help. You there, if you believe, wherever you are, just breathe. That's it. Deep breath in and out. Breathing together, we conspire. That's right, everyone. Join the consciousness conspiracy. We're doing it. Marvie is waking up. Uh, all right, everyone, switch the channel now. Well, good day, y'all. I'm Marvie, and we're having a laugh out in my mind. <laughs> so leave that family of unfriendly reptoids and join us in astral space. Sam, what, what's going on? Uh, ladies and gentlemen, we are experiencing technical easinesses. Please stand by as Marvy is... Joining me from the other stage is the Scurrier Tanake. Y'all know who I mean. <laughs> Greetings. Nom, 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 nom. <laughs> Tanake, I see you brought your guitar. We're having a sing-along later, so all you folks at home better switch off the electronics and join us here in my mind. <laughs> well, there's plenty of barbecue in my ties. Now let's get those smiles warmed up with this. Oh, hey, Liza. Hey, Marvy. Why did Stormy cross the road? I don't know, Liza. Why did Stormy cross the road? Because she was channeling a chicken. (laughs) Class, look at that. Marvy used the harmonifier to amplify the laughter and aim the happy beam directly at Stormy. And, And look! Those good feelings were enough to knock Ujet right out. What? Where am I? Oh my god! I can't close my legs! Get me out of this thing before I... Hang on, Stormy! Help! Nom, nom, nom. Help! Yeah. There! Now get on the carpet! Stormy! Totally rocking it! Let's fly! Yeah, so Stormy was free, but 
Would you grabbed Ozona instead? I shall take you, my precious pet. Uh, no. Oh, yes. Ozona, my sprung chicken, come in. We're under a happiness attack. If anybody cracks a gag. Ozona, I have a good one for you. Gloria, get out of my head. Why is a pie like my finger? Why is a pie like your finger? Cause it's got meringue on it. <laughs> Across the solar system, everyone was confused at first. What has happened to the wedding? The Sonic Circus knows. Ladies and gentlemen, it seems Marvelous Day has made a change in our program. That's right, Sam. We are now tuned in to the party line. Something funny is going on, and that sure will annoy the reptoids. Hey, Liza, know why the Mafia killed Albert Einstein? Hmm, no, Marvy. Why did the Mafia kill Albert Einstein? He knew too much. <laughs> <laughs> Look, class, see how the happy beams look like rainbows. That one hit Osono right in the third eye. Oh, Ojet squeezes tighter and... Oh, Ojet and Osona fuse together. Who would have thought a little girl like you could destroy my beautiful wickedness? No! Look, class, the happy beams have pushed Ojet right back into the reptoid dimension. <laughs> hey, you folks listening at home, come on and join us. That's right. Hi there, y'all. Come on in. We're telling jokes to the pharaoh now. <laughs> Danike, how cold is Enceladus? How cold is it? Nom, nom, nom. It's so cold that my uncle, who was a 33rd degree mason, went down 10 degrees. <laughs> nom, 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 nom. Caesar, dear, what did Mrs. Schrodinger say to Mr. Schrodinger? I don't know, Glow. What did Mrs. Schrodinger say? What the hell did you do to the cat? It looks half dead. <laughs> you darklings can't rip. Oh, there once Pindar back to Rippy space. Now Maldek and Smythe really are in charge. But look there in the milk bar. The sappy Regan just bounced off Dante in his Veronica suit. You'll have to do better than that, Smythe. There is no spoon. Hi, everybody. We're on the party line now, too. Aliens and gentlemen, this is my brother, Dandy Day, in Veronica. Welcome to the party. I think you have a joke for Maldic? Veronica, why did the chicken cross the Mobius Strip? Why, Dante? To stay on the same side. <laughs> oh, let me help. Oh, Smith. <laughs> on the chest of a barmaid from Sale, who tattooed all the prices of ale, whilst on her behind, for the sake of the blind, were precisely the same, but in braille. Bowie to Ocean. Dante has control of the cow. Apotheosis now. Dante, release the moon and light the road. We shall banish the reptoids once and for all. Ah, see, class? I see Enceladus floats gently back into the seventh house of Ix. Well, now, uh, pop quiz. Yeah, it's the final exam. Pay close attention to Dante in this last part of the story, and if you can make yourself of a like mind, you pass this class. All right, folks. Now you know how to get rid of your reptoids. Let's keep them away. You, Scurriers, and Hopi, and you, there in the astral classroom. Everybody, just stop for one moment and, like a crystal ball, let everything pass right through you. Just...
B. Ocean, Enceladus is glowing again. Our happiness is flowing through the moon, out into the galaxy, through all space and time. <laughs> <laughs> hey, Bowie, I'm a rigworm. No, I'm a teepee. No, wait, I'm a rigworm. No, I'm a teepee. Ocean, you are too tense. <laughs> Doesn't that feel good? I just love this part of the story. Sam, this just in. Across the solar system, humanity has risen and banished the reptoids. They're all turning off the idiot box and tuning in with their minds. Who would have thought? Who, Sam? Uh, I know, Sal, on bass guitar. <laughs> Did you hear the one about the terrorist group who took the birdhouse at the Martian Zoo? They're holding ostriches! <laughs> Did you hear the one about the Martian who built a house with no bathroom? Most uncanny! <laughs> well, y'all, we did it! And now you know the secret. Be happy. And Gaudia. And Gaudia! <laughs> <laughs> ah, well, that is the end of our story, class. And just the beginning. The entire universe has become available through astral travel. And you and I can see it all. But that is next time, yeah? Now I think let's just have a party. Ah, goodbye, class. Cosmic Significance 2012 is written and directed by Dewey Davis Thompson and Elizabeth Brackman. Sound effects and editing by Dave, Dave Lassa. Lassa. Starring Ed Lehman, Joe Montalto, Audrey Henson, Mary Ellen Mill, Stephen Davis Thompson, Mimi Riley, Susie DeVore, Carly Tuttle, Clinton Lancaster, Susan O'Gara, Ed Stevens, Chioki Ianson, Lynn Cole, Andy Orell, Catherine Bowles, Magella Bernardo, Tom Halleck, Michael Magruder, Dewey Davis Thompson, Elizabeth Brackman, oh, and that background guy, and random WMNF volunteers. Produced by Soundstage Audio Theater, Pirates and Angels Productions, at WMNF Tampa 88.5 FM Studios. Full credits and web extras online at CosmicSignificance.com. Cosmic Significance 2012.